Stefan Navarro. I am a Hungarian journalist, uh, foreign news editor, and also vice president of the Hungarian Independent Television and Filmmakers Trade Union. And I'm now on hunger strike with now with four colleagues. We are protesting of those incidents which happened in the public media about falsification, the news about lying in the reporting, and we want those who are responsible to to be held responsible. We started this hunger strike as the last resort because all our protests, all our former complaints were just ignored. We went to the media authority and nothing happens until now. No scandal was, as I mentioned before, it became public, so now everybody who got the notice could have heard this incident, this scandal, but nothing happened. They found the three scapegoats, so we said real justice should be done. Our conscience is not clear until we see that other people who are not really responsible, they are held responsible, and those who are really responsible, and they have been doing this in the last one and a half year, they are still in the position, and the people are fear. So we say this whole scandalous events, the whole violation of the freedom of media, and to break down the wall of silence, we should do something, maybe as a last resort. We started the hunger strike with my colleagues, Aron Kasavui, who is also vice president of our organization. She is a mother of a small child. It can be understood how desperate our situation if the trade union leaders and the journalists should go on hunger strike in the public media to get justice that be done in his or her own work world. Other people joined another news person in the production field from Duna Television, it's also Hungarian Public Television. So we were three, he joined us uh, on Sunday evening, but he got uh, not too well just yesterday, so he was, he got some medical assistance, he's now fine, but he cannot follow anymore the hunger strike. Yesterday, other two persons, other two journalists and uh, TV person joined us. One of them is the leader of the Duna, uh, so-called working trade union. He's the president, he's a former head of the department. And, uh, and the other is a TV journalist, TV personality of Duna Television, a news form, a newscaster, who is to be laid off soon. And he's working also in the commercial television, TV2, as a, in a soap opera. So he's kind of celebrity in our Hungarian reality. He's a half Hungarian, half African uh, descent. And he also decided that he cannot say anything, or he cannot be silent, he should do something. So we are now four. Probably other people will join today and tomorrow. And uh, we are still here. Officially, there have been no contact about these demands between us and the employer. We just have got the notification through our other persons on checking the internet that after four, more almost four days of hunger strike, finally somebody was also held responsible in the news agency uh, by the news agency CEO. He got written warning. We haven't heard this in the official explanation before. They said the the examination of the incidents was, was uh, the investigation has been done, everything was just, uh, uh, they had just responsible, the three persons mentioned before. We mentioned this guy who was now also held responsible. We knew the name, István Hegelős, the <coughs> deputy director of the so-called news center of the MTI news agency. But we know that who is really giving the orders to him also and the others is the boss of them, the news director, Gábor Élő. And of course, he's too wise. This guy who is, is responsible for the news coverage in Duna Television the, and that is, uh, the other public television is responsible, George Nemeth. They should be held responsible. They have no place in any public media outlet in Hungary, according to us, what they have been doing in the last one and a half year. And there's another guy, the fourth guy, Daniel Pop, the famous uh, manipulator of the Combandit report in Hungary, as we mentioned before. He is now head of the news department. He was appointed to it just one day after he was caught on spot uh, lying and manipulating a news item. And he's also now head of the documentary and uh, current affairs section. So I want these four people to be held responsible and to be disciplined and to be fired. Basically, this is our demands.
Well, of course, we have two of us, uh, we are now getting a bit less and less strength. It's not the fourth day of hunger strike. We don't know how much we should still be here. We will be here until our demands fulfilled or our, until we can do that. So, but we still are, are okay. I can still speak. I can still think a bit and I can still have anger what's going on. And still there is just, they, they waited three, four days to get again one somebody held responsible, now somebody from the, the both sides. How many people should get the hunger strikes? Who should maybe die here just to be justice done? It's unbelievable that it's happening in Hungary in the 21st century in an EU country. So I, I ask the attention of all the world, send protesting letters and reporting on what's going on in Hungary. This is unbelievable. Well, this is basically, we've got yesterday notification that we, we should leave this area because it's a private property. And uh, they said that the owner and the renter who, who is renting the company, they didn't give us permission to be here. Yeah, I must say that we got getting more and more support, not just from the civil society, but from other trade unions. We got a solidarity letter from the trade unions of the firework uh, for the steel workers trade union from the trade unions the biggest trade unions of the the, the like uh, kind of company working in the field of, of producing uh, <coughs> meals chemical workers trade union they are organizing a protest for us that tells you also a lot that the chemical trade unions helping and supporting those trade unions in the public media sectors Everybody realized that it's not just about the media, it's about the whole freedom of press, about the whole democratic values of Hungary, about uh, our society, our democracy. The situation which has changed uh, for the worse, it's uh, after the last elections in 2010, then uh, the governing coalition, mostly one party, the other two third majorities had accepted approved laws which, which represents their interest of controlling everything centralizing power and in the media field it's also as it happens Hungary when you have a change of government you have also change of the public uh, news service bosses so they are changed for loyal people it's of course not by decree but it happens it happened this time again and unfortunately those people who came back they were who were already discrediting the whole public media in the first Orban government's time, so between 98 and 2002. They just continue where they stopped that time. They are lying, they are falsificating uh, the reports and they are terrorizing those journalists and editors in the public media who tries to say no to them. Uh, my name is Aranga Savoy and I'm uh, the, another vice president of the Televíziósok és Filmkészítők Független Szakszervezete, the Televisions and Filmmakers Independent Trade Union. Our colleagues, uh, they, they are held in fear and the editors, the main editors, they, they always want to control everything. I mean, the reports, the content of the reports, um, who, who has to be in, in, that, in that report. And what has happened uh, on the 3rd of December, it was, just, it was just a short episode, because it happens uh, every day. A little bit tired. Anyway, it, uh, it's four days we are here, and uh, I, I have never done it before uh, to make a hunger strike, so uh, I, I, I didn't know that how, how is it like. So, uh, but it's not that worse what I thought. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm not hungry. Uh, I drink lots of uh, tea and, and water because I know that, um, that I have to drink around uh, three liters a day and everything as well because a doctor every, every day uh, come to control us and everything is all right. But how long uh, uh, can it take? I don't know. I, I hope that in, in this week we, we will have a solution. My name is Soraya Kembe, I, I'm a former, I used to be a presenter in Duna TV, uh, they fired me in uh, the 
14th of November. So I actually I'm still working here. I didn't have any paper yet, so I'm working here legally. And I'm here legally at this location. So I joined this team because uh, I think they are they have right. Uh, we, we are not working in the same department. They are they, they are working in the in the news department. I'm, I used to work in the the cultural department, but we had the same problem with that because uh, we we always had to follow orders, even in the cultural department. So if there is an exhibition, for example, somewhere, uh, and it's not close to the the main line, let's say it not, uh, like this, uh, it was not allowed to go there. But we had other orders to go to other locations to shoot them, other exhibitions or theater shows or whatever, theater pieces. And these pieces or these uh, exhibitions were close to the main line. So I think it's, it's all politics. And uh, uh, I don't like politics and I, I will not like politics in my life. Uh, but because I think that if we are talking about culture, it's culture. It doesn't have to do anything with politics. Either. No, uh, the main problem is uh, the structure of the, the private private service media. Because uh, if one year ago or two years ago, uh, we had four different uh, media: one radio, two TV channel, and one one uh, one news agency. So this this day. Or starting from the 1st of January 2011, it, everything came together. So now we have this building called MTVA. It's a Hungry, Hungarian uh, word letter, uh, letter word, sorry. And uh, the, the main problem starts from here, from the from the structure. And the other the, the other problem is that they think that they have to reduce uh, the professionals. Here they have to fire a lot of people, 1,000 already, uh, and the cost will go lower. But no, it's not the point. The cost is still high because they 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 hired a lot of directors or in some kind of positions. I don't know which kind of positions they hired people, and uh, they control basically everything. Uh, if we are talking about news. And this is the main problem, because there's one one place who says what is the news. This is the main problem. And if I'm watching the problem from this point of view, we are go going back to 1848 in the 19th century uh, in the revolution uh, against the, the Aust Aust Austrian Empire from uh, from Hungary starts from Hungary. Uh, because they had the same problems 160 years ago. I think it's something that's not working well.